Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jill Carnahan. I'm here to talk to you today about mast cell activation syndrome. Yes, that's MCAS for short. Many, many of you have been writing in and asking me more about this and just either seeing someone you love suffer from the symptoms or you yourself have had symptoms. It's sadly a really, really common thing nowadays. Mast cells are our primordial immune cells. They're out on the front lines. Um, trying to protect us from toxins and exposures and chemicals and issues with the food quality and allergens and anything from heat or cold or hormones or pressure or an allergen like a, a tree or a grass or a food or things like even mold and mold toxicity, mycotoxins, chemicals, all of these things can be triggers to mast cell activation. Something you may not know is that even viruses, um, we've seen this a lot post-pandemic when someone got COVID. Um, post-pandemic, they will often have a short-term flare of the mast cells becoming more irritable and throwing out their garbage like histamine and prostaglandins and all of those things. There's literally hundreds of chemicals that they throw out. And the patient can suffer from multi-symptom, multi-system symptoms and diseases related to the mast cell, things as different as heartburn, rash itching, congestion, sneezing, um, lung inflammation, shortness of breath. It can also create cognitive symptoms like brain fog or insomnia. It can create heart palpitations. It can affect the bowels, cause more permeable gut to where you all of a sudden have more reactivity reactions to foods that you were eating just fine before. Um, it can cause loose stools or constipation or pain in the belly. Um, and as I mentioned, even heartburn can be a histamine related symptom. So this is very widespread. It can affect so many of our bodily functions and systems. And many times people don't recognize that at the root of their symptoms is mast cell activation. So you can go to my blog at jillcarnahan.com and look up the articles I've written, many, many articles on mast cell activation. Just search MCAS or click on the topic mast cell and you'll find all my blog articles on that. I've also done a, lo a load, a ton of YouTube videos here on the YouTube channel. But let's talk about solutions because today I wanted to come and just talk to you about my MCAS bundle, which creates a nice foundation of support for you. Now, many people do need medications like um, generic H1 or H2 blockers, mast cell stabilizers like Kodafin or other things to really get stable. So it's not unusual to need a combination of meds and supplements. But today I wanted to talk to you about the mast cell bundle because I find this to be incredibly helpful. Um, and this is going to be products like Histocyst, which I'll tell you about, histamine blocker, which I'll tell you about, and buffered vitamin C. And those are the three things that are contained in my mast cell bundle. We just made it easy for you to get the solution and get some relief. Um, I also am going to mention today one thing I really like to add to this. It's not part of the bundle, but it's very helpful for gut stability, and that's the Spore Probiotic Complete. So the Spore Probiotic Complete is not part of the mast cell bundle, but it is a, another product I really like to use in mast cell activation. So first of all, Histocyst, this is literally our best selling product. This is a product that contains quercetin, nettles, bromelain, and NAC, and all of these things have been shown to be antihistamine in nature. People love this product. I highly recommend the bundle, but if you just have to try one thing, this is where it's at. The dose is typically two twice a day, and people will find relief within even a couple of days of taking that from allergies and mast cell activation. So I'm a huge fan of that histocyst. Histamine blocker, this is a specific DAO enzyme that will block the histamine production in your body, especially food related. So that one typically we have people take before meals at least twice a day, sometimes three times a day or more. Um, and that can block the production of DAO, I'm sorry, block the production of histamine with the DAO enzyme, which breaks down histamine. And many of you might actually have a genetic SNP um, called DAO that uh, decreases your ability to produce DAO enzyme, which is why it'd be a good idea to take this. Signs or symptoms of that could be more sensitivity to foods that you used to be able to eat. Or I have a friend who just gets congestion after meals and you know blowing their nose and sneezing and kind of phlegmy. Um, that's also a very common symptom of DAO enzyme issues and not enough of that. So histocyst, um, histamine blocker, and then 
buffered C. I chose a very specific high quality C here that is typically does not bother or irritate people, irritate the gut. And because it's buffered, if you're prone to the heartburn that can come with mast cell activation, that buffered C will not cause heartburn. Typically, I recommend at least two a day of that, although you can take upwards of two twice a day or more of the vitamin C and the buffered C is where it's at. So histocyst, um, histamine blocker, buffered C, this is it right here. This is the kit. And you can get all these at drjillhealth.com. The bundle gives you a discount. And I hope you will go and visit drjillhealth.com, share it with a loved one if you have someone suffering from this, or give it a try yourself and see if you can't get relief from your symptoms. Um, usually people notice within a week or two, it's not going to take months of time. And you can also take this during times of increased stress, increased exposure, um, or seasons of allergens versus all year round, although a lot of people take them all year round. Now, the last thing I want to mention, separate product here is Spore Probiotic Complete, um, Probiotics can be good or bad. Some of them create more histamine. Some of them actually decrease histamine. So I typically do not give things like lactobacillus casei because it can increase histamine. Lactobacillus rhamnosus, I love. It's very um, neutral. And bifidobacter, bifido species are great. However, I'm a huge fan when people are really sensitive guts of the spore probiotics. And this complete has multiple strains, um, one, two, three, four, five strains, um, and at a really good price point, if you compare it to the competitors out there, this one is less expensive and super high quality. Okay, so I hope today that answered just a few of your questions about mast cell activation. I hope you'll go check out this uh, kit, kit called the Mast Cell MCAS Kit at drjillhealth.com, the Spore Probiotic Complete, and go ahead and browse there. We've got lots and lots of other great stuff as well. Um, but thanks for your time today, and I'll see you again soon.